Hello everyone, in this video we are going to have a lot of different stories and a lot of different news stories. Keep a critical mind as always. I will always try to put all the evidence and proof out there. If there isn't enough, then also you can search for yourself, but I will try to keep all those things out there for you guys. And as always, keep a critical mind and I hope you enjoy. I recently posted and um, have, you know, talked about Matara Khan's recent thing about um, her having her Vishojo one year. We also saw WME on the bottom right. What is WME? WME is William Morris Endeavors. It's an agency that helps people with, you know, publicity, all that kind of stuff. Not the small agency. It has some big names like Hugh Jackman, Eminem, Adele, Jessica Alba, Ben Affleck. I also have Henry Cavill, Hideo Kojima. There's some really big leagues right there. Matara will remain in Vishojo. Vishojo and VME, WME will be collaborating together for some big projects involving things with Matara. And maybe other Vishojo members will be involved too. Giga mentioned something huge was coming for Vishojo in 2025, so this may be one of those things. Matara, Bricky, Cavill will be a killer combo. Just know that if she got <clears throat> this opportunity when she was still in the Sanji, they would have never let her join. I'm glad she is now in an agency that lets her make choices like this. I wish her all the best. To be fair, joining another agency wouldn't really happen with any company. That's very true. You would have, um, I mean, you have Hololife that has allowed things like uh, Universal Music Entertainment if they're in different aspects of the things then yes um but for example uh hollow life wouldn't let you join mythic talent agency for for you know having production things or having uh management things so it is normal for a large corporation to not allow these things not well for a smaller agency that's more open like vishojo which is you know it's a different style of agency uh, that'd be fine same agency with Tadeo kojima her getting into a big agency like that is a colossal w joining as their first vtuber and it seems like still working with vishojo She's literally working in Hollywood now. Nidhi Sanji, who? Take that, aunties. Uh, tweet from Matara Khan, which I always like showing you guys the tweets. It says, the largest agency has a majority of stake in both UFC and WWE. So they are a large agency. He mentioned it right now. Thrilled to announce that I am joining WME as their first VTuber. WME and I will be working together, closely together with Vichojo to bring all of you the best content we possibly can. I have a lot of big ideas and big dreams for all of us, and I'm beyond thrilled to realize them. Keep your eyes peeled for all of our exciting future projects, including one in quarter one, 2025. I have to add a huge thank you to all of you who have helped us get here. None of this would be possible without your continuous support, kindness, and patience, my sweet momos. I really mean it when I said this is our year to come. And there you go. WME is announcing Matarakan there. Team Matarakan at WMEagency.com for any kind of business inquiries, of course. This is huge. This is so huge. Like I mentioned, all the people that are involved in there. It is huge for VTubing and it is huge for Matarakan. A bit of an addendum or an addition to the last piece that I talked about when it came to Matarakan. We have right here her talking about Bricky can't have a yacht, but he can have a rowboat. Let's see what she says. This is during her celebration of her one year. Yeah, yeah, you can rent a rowboat. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Oh, Bricky, right. it says the file is large. Please choose a file smaller than one M. I, I think I'm going to set that tomorrow for the merch store. Sorry, everybody. I'm too. Nope, I'm on it. Okay, you're on it. I'm on it. Don't worry about it. It's because uh, previously I had a boss who um, maybe owed me a little bit of money still, but has a yacht. So do not, do not. You're not my boss. We're merch partners but, no you we, know. we worked we work, we work together. together i am far but, far away from your boss but which sucks because you still boss me around what the fuck oh i boss you around <laughs> you dare oh <laughs> well, there you go matara saying that bricky which is a person that you know is is going along with the whole vishojo thing uh can buy a rowboat but not a yacht. Talking about a previous boss, which we all know from Nidisanji, of course, is Riku Tazumi. And he has a yacht. Of course he does. We all know about that. So that's a nice little funny thing that she put out there. It just keeps happening. Why does it keep happening? I don't know. I have no freaking clue. But it keeps happening to VTubers. Uh, it does seem like there is some kind of vendetta against VTubers somewhere along the line. Nor I, I had thought for a long time, oh no, that's over exaggeration, but this just keeps happening. It's just weird the way it keeps happening. Another VTuber ban. So a VTuber is going to do a stream with a new Halloween themed outfit. They didn't even do that stream yet, but Twitch banned her regardless. Makes you wonder if Twitch staff saw that tweet themselves and took action. And what is this? Streamer bans. Twitch partner Little Knee VT has been banned. Little Knee VT is join your zombie mummy Imoto for some Halloween fun time, as you can see here. I didn't even stream or have my Twitter on Twitch. So somehow someone saw it 
and decided, nope, this is going to be too much. We're going to ban her. But you can't be a organization that purports to be, you know, you say that you're fair, you say all this kind of stuff and prematurely ban somebody for something they haven't even done yet. Let's say they were going to be breaking rules. You, why are you banning them even before the rules have been broken? That's just like, that's a 1984 type stuff. That's like thought crime type of thing. It is really weird. I know it may seem like I'm going intense on this and I'm going over the top on this, but it's just too far. I honestly think it's going too far. To straight proof, Twitch staff is lurking VTubers Twitter accounts. Yeah, it, it, it's just, they have to be lurking. But it's like a thought crime type of thing. And here's what Little Nee said. I'm speechless. This is my fourth suspension. None of my VODs have been saved for weeks. Last stream was also just my IRL self. I just iced cookies and I had safety shorts. What the heck? My Twitter also isn't even linked on Twitch. I'm doing everything to follow the rules. Just WTF. And here's Little Nee's channel themselves saying right here. What did they get banned for? It's been committed to blah, blah, blah. Youth Risky. If you remember, there was a VTuber I recently mentioned that also got the Youth Risky ban because they appear to be childlike in the form that they have, which is just the lolly as in petite lolly, not the other degenerate lolly stuff, but actual just petite form and petite styling in anime style. But they take that as Youth Risky, putting risk to actual underage people, although this person is over the age of 18. They're obviously over the age of 18 and they haven't done anything wrong, anything in that nature to put a minor at risk. That is just really dumb. This is all she did. This was my stream, guys. I guess Twitch hates cookies. I hate my cookies. Do you like them at least? The lore of my recent bans. I guess you need to dress like a nun going forward. Uh, I don't even know at this point. I've been deleting VODs, been careful about jokes, wear soft safety shorts, keep chest covered, don't show my VTuber model's hips, don't list any ASMR triggers in my title, don't even have my Twitter directly linked to my Twitch. Not only that, I put in so much effort into my IRL streams, plus effort into keeping them safe. One of my bikini streams, I wore a two-piece that covered most of my stomach, hips, and it had a built-in skirt. Got banned for that. Okay, I'll be even more careful. I do remember, and I did talk about when they got banned for that. This is their, this is their fourth ban, for goodness sakes. I figured it was because I didn't have a pool and it didn't stream in a pool category. Here's your pool, plus using the right category. I was barely able to fit the pool in my room. Not only that, I kept my whole lower half covered. Wore shorts and also a cardigan while having the bikini. Then I guess what? Get banned again after that stream. Fine. Still not enough coverage. No more bikini streams for me. I'll keep everything covered and even go as far as spats under every dress or skirt going forward. Now currently banned for my last flesh stream. I am cooked at this point. Someone doesn't like her. That's all That's all I can think of. Someone doesn't like her. Ready to help your rumble move entire community over there. Oh my God, I was noticed by Rumble's Chris. Insane. Seven day suspension was the the uh, an April an August a three day suspension April twelfth. So all these things these are all happening. This is no longer cool. This is no longer like oh my god they're just doing something wrong. They're putting too much booba on stream. They have done everything to cover up. They've done everything to cover up, and it still happens on Twitch. I don't get what Twitch's problem is. I don't get it in this case. There are other cases where it's just obvious. Like they're 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 showing like womb tattoos. And they're showing a little bit too much cleavage or a little bit too much down there. They have camel toe. They have that type of stuff. I can understand that. This, this goes extreme. This is beyond crazy. This is just beyond crazy. Han has now had her first anniversary. She's currently going through her first anniversary. And as you can see, she has a wonderful, wonderful new design. It's like a military kind of parade style design, kind of like a, a leader, a fearless leader type of design that she has for herself. And the Momos, I think, are redesigned as well. And here you have her, you know, people saying 1K sales. Thank you. The 1K sales of the Momo uh, t-shirt and what I'm talking about right here this is peak right here this is her design she's uh, sitting on top of the momos and the momos of course have a uh, as you can see have uh, another cap here she's fully dressed she has no cleavage here she has no nothing she's just fully dressed in her mata attire people are like yep costume is fire i do love it so this is the four-armed emperor yes like the overall impression more than her default someone really cooked here yes someone did a really good job they were like she probably like cooked with this one as in she probably had people like on it and you know putting input a lot of different input on this because holy crap it looks really nice 
And here you have her, of course. Lime in it for me, please, since I'm not drinking until November 1st. Gin, soda, and lime it is. Mm -hmm. I'll take I'll take a photo of She's having you know, people chatting, and she has her wings. Before, it was just like a fluttering down. Now she actually has her wings out, as you can see there. Like right here, you can see it. Her wings are out. And, of course, in the last part that I want to mention is that she has the roach collection. Kind of looking like, a, you know, you know, Papa Roach, that type of thing. Kind of like a, 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 a metal type of stuff. So she has her Dakimakura with her new design and the one in, and of course the back. You can always turn it inside out usually. The front and back, the back with a little bit of the bootses and the uh, the momos right there on her bootses, on her, on her buttocks. She's still, well, no, those, those that's, she's, she's half dressed there. So um, then you have some smaller stuff here. You have Matarakan, another uh, a stand right there. You have the shirts, you have the posters in the back, sticker sheets, and you have the momos with the butt. You have the Momo butt pad. You have the Momo butt pad. The butt mouse pad. You have that too. You have a little bit of everything for Matara. But yeah, it's a big congratulations for her. A big, uh, big, big move. She's doing much better now than when she was the Fox mom. At least from what I can see. She's much happier. She gets to have the success that she wants. She gets to keep a lot more money than she usually normally would. She's just enjoying herself, talking to whoever the heck she wants. Not having to worry about, you know, oh, people being overly parasocial, overly unicorn style or anything like that. So big, big congratulations to Matarakan. Good news, everybody. Ex Nidisan GID members have decided to make a supermarket together. It is a free game that people can do and they can play together and they can do all that and they can, uh, you know, make a supermarket together. I played that with collaboration partners myself and it is fun. Why am I talking about all of them right now? And who am I talking about more specifically? Azure Cecilia, Miyu Otavia, we have Zaya Cornelia and Reza Evan Luna. They were all part of the now defunct Nidisanji ID, Indonesia branch, one of the ones that they closed down, pretty much what EN is going to become soon. They've all been doing this together, it says, but if you close your eyes, of course, that's the song, it says, F yes, Didi Sanji wants to tear bonds apart, but as we friendship prevails, I know somehow reference a kid's show, be corny, where friendship is magic, and they're referencing this one, the My Little Pony theme song of friendship is magic. Bro, I love friendship is magic, the heck you talking about? These guys truly were a huge family. Thanks, OP. XIDs are largely still active to various degrees, and we should post about them more. Absolutely should post about them more. And let's see what they actually did. He he are them doing the supermarket together stuff. You you buy different things, you create different things here. I like I said, I've played it before. And here you go. You set your prices, you get your boxes to set everything up. You do all these wonderful things here. And that is a wonderful thing to have. <laughs> they all seem so very happy. They're all just so very happy compared to how they were when they were in the old Nidhi Sanji group. And that is, of course, something that I wanted to show you guys. Mika Neko, someone who has unfortunately gotten a lot of hate, as you can see here. This is Mika Neko. This is her design. This is her style. Very much uh, the same mama as um, their old Rushia style of Hololive. So they're not breaking any NDAs, they're not breaking any IP laws, but they are doing something similar. People have, you know, their styles and such. Why am I talking about them? Well, of course, you know, recently we talked about the things that they had put out as a, you know, a, a continuance of the Mat Mafu Mafu situation. But now they have mentioned this, which is them saying, 970,000 YouTube subscribers, thank you so much. Can we really aim for 1 million? I hope they can. I wish the best for them. I know the kind of struggles that Mikaneko has on a very, very tiny scale. She's much, much larger than I'll ever be. And she has more things to worry about than I ever will. But since we both have are dealing with mental illness in our own rights, I can definitely understand how struggling, how, how you can struggle with it, how debilitating, how draining, how affecting all of this drama can be. And yes, she's seen as an internet law cow right now. But even people like her that is, you know, not seen in the best of lights does deserve some good times and good memories to have for themselves. And that's what I believe. Bond Live EN, an agency that I've been wanting to talk about for a while now because I have someone that I'm, I've been talking to in uh, DMs that has been mentioning this whole situation. There have been a lot of things going on in, this, in the background that I couldn't speak about until today when they actually announced something fully. Because I had been knowing that this was going to be happening for the past month or so. I had been knowing that there are going to be movings, movings going on, goings on. I couldn't mention it because it risked the person that had told me all these things. It the person that had been uh, reaching out to me and letting me know what was going on. There 
were rumblings of them dissolving and you know going on into different things and um but right now bond live is right here announcement of dissolution of vtuber youtube division and reality division sincerely thank you for your continued support of bond live en we regret to inform you that bond live en has decided to dissolve its vtuber youtube division and reality division as of october 16 2024 we deeply apologize for any inconvenience this sudden announcement may cause to our fans and those involved at the same time, we would like to express our gratitude for your support and cooperation thus far. Current members who wish to do so will continue their activities and content creators as content creators when everything is said and done. The newly established Iriam division will continue its operations and preparing for the app release scheduled in autumn of 2024. We kindly request that you refrain from making any uh, any inquiries, you know, to individual content creators. And uh, they say here, as in addition to this, they'll be the first VTuber agency to join Irium. Currently have 25 VTuber streamers ready and waiting to debut on Irium. Don't miss your debut streams. This kind of seems more like a Nexus kind of growth that they're going to be having separate from their old YouTube form. Uh, Irium is a virtual streaming app. Irium is set to beta launch in the US. Yep, it's pretty much like Annie Live. It's pretty much going to be like an Annie Live type of thing, except it's going to be... Um, Idiom. It's going to be separate. I really don't personally like these things when they make them just into uh, something that's going to be happening there, something that's going to be happening in an app that you can have to get in order for you to watch those VTubers. I don't like that. That's very restricting. That's very restrictive, and it's not good. It's not good overall. They are happening on December 14th. The VTuber Awards are happening on December 14th. This is Fillion's VTuber Awards. Not be too confused with the small VTuber Awards and things like that. Generally, don't expect Niji to be here at all this time around. I mean, even without the stuff I had occurred earlier this year, no one in Niji is relevant to the broader VTuber sphere at all. Hell, Niji itself isn't relevant to the Western VTuber sphere at all. Who knows? Last time it was Selene. Remember, Selene won some things at last year's VTuber Awards. Uh... Plus, with all the ex-members that are now more than likely to show up and earn an award, it'd be better off to just not deal with Niji. I mean, I don't think Fillion is going to be involved with any of that kind of stuff. Let's just be honest here. Fillion is more of a neutral person. They do not want to get involved in any of that drama. They do not want to get involved in any of that mess. It is what it is, and it will not uh, become a big issue, in my opinion. It will not become a big issue. It will not be something like, oh my god, um... We can't have these people because we have, like, for example, I'm pretty sure Doki is, has been, uh, again, uh, put as, you know, either best VTuber, best, a you know, Apex VTuber, best FPS VTuber, something like that. I guarantee you that something like that is being done with, uh, with Doki Bird and we know with Michi and other people, they're probably going to be a part of it as well. And that is something that, of course, we have, to, we have to see. Now, here's what they're showing. This time, we prepared a lot of surprises and even greater audience involvement. Get ready for the celebration creativity, talent, and community as we honor the best in the VTuber world. And here we go. <sighs> and this one, a lot of times these things end up, the, the, the melodies of it, end up getting me screwed. So Philian isn't a Filipino boy. It's been confirmed. Philian's not a Filipino boy. Well, at least not, not, not in this model. She's got curves though. Like, Philian's got curves, though. You can see that right there. You can see the curves. Where are my eyes? My eyes are right here. They're right up here. So you have all the fishies below. Oh, I have the lassophobia, by the way. I cannot look into a deep ocean. It's just one of those things. I think that's what it is. I think it's the lassophobia. When you have the fear of deep oceans, I have the fear of deep oceans. I have the fear of deep water. Holy crap, I have a big fear of deep water. That's one of those things that happens to me, unfortunately. So, yeah. These are rewards. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look at it. I look forward to it, and hopefully, it ends up becoming another success for Fillion. Welcome back, everybody, to the VTuber Showcase, the showcase where I like to give something back to the VTuber community, something positive, something good, something forward, something amazing. I try to do what I can to bring something great to the community as a whole, and I appreciate you guys always being there with me to do this. And what are we talking about today? We're talking about Palm Axie Palm, Axie Palm VTuber Fennec Fox. Um, they have been doing their stuff. They're a live 2D rigger and a VTuber, both EN and, of course, 18+. plus. Uh, here is their uh, Twitch channel right here. They're about, hello, welcome to my comfy but city space. I'm Goth Fennec v VTuber. I play games uh, and make art. And here they go down here. It's a spooky month. You know, it says a uh, local Fennec Fox girl who loves games. You don't mind city people. This is the place for you. It's a place that welcomes everyone unless you are under 18. That's mostly safe for work. So they are safe for work, but they do want to be, you know, people to be over the age of 18, which is fully understandable. Let's take a look at something that they did recently. You are a beaver. You wake up one day, you're in your bed. 
you wake up, you open your eyes, and suddenly you feel like you just wanna eat some food, and 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 then that means you are big. You look at your body, you're small, you're big. Oh no, I'm a beaver. Oh god, I'm a beaver. You you, you know what? I'm, I'm no longer a squirrel. I'm a, I'm a beaver. A VTuber gets jump scared, quits the game, most of the moments, all those type of things. Here from Axie Palm on their YouTube channel, as I like to show that as well. Uh, thank you so much for being here, and I do appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate um, you for letting me be someone who can showcase you, Axie Palm, for letting me showcase you on my VTuber Showcase. Really appreciate that. Thank you very much. And of course, all of their socials are going to be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. That is all the news that we have for today. Please let me know down below if you want to know any more news or if you have any comments regarding anything that you saw here, which I will try my best to respond to. I love seeing your comments down below. Of course, as well, like and subscribe to the channel uh, that will give you more uh, information every single day. I do two videos a day, so hopefully you enjoy.